All right, stand by. Contact. What's going on YouTube? It's Homer Guy about to bring y'all a new video today on It's On You channel. And today this video is about a new product that I had for a little while. Never really got the chance to do a trial run itself until this past weekend. But before I get to it, y'all know I love to do my EDC dump. So I'm going to start off with my Oakley Holbrooks. Had these joints for a while. I'm going to go with my watch. This is the Nike G-Shock Move, the GBDH1000. Dope watch. They actually got the Pro Series out now. All right, we're going to go to the keys. We got the uh, Recycle Firefighter uh, key lane with an O light keychain light on there. My light of choice is the Streamlight Protect 2LX 500 lumens. I have an 18650 battery in there. My wallet is the minimalist wallet made by uh, Recycle Firefighter. Left back pocket, I got a couple of things. I have a mask because the COVID restrictions. I have my Ride in the Rain notepad, bandana. Also in my back left pocket, I have my Leatherman Skeletal, the CX model. My right back pocket, which would have been my phone, but I'm recording from it. I have an iPhone 11 Pro. All right, late of choice is the Spyderco Man X2, all black G10 grips, big knife. Right pocket, we got my Fisher Space Pen Bullet, Chapstick, and I don't know, I already took it out. My Zippo lighter, I took it out to use it for the video. All right, in the gun, we got the Glock 17 Gen 5 MOS with the front serrations. We have the uh, blacked out uh, Ameriglo suppressor height night sight, I mean suppressor height sights. We have a Trigicon uh, RMR automatic sitting on a CNH precision weapons uh red dot mount we got the surefire x300 with some black rainbow ammo in there spare mags the glock 17 plus two and it is riding in a tier one concealed axis slim black on the front gray on the back and my edc belt is blue alpha gear hybrid edc all right so today this is going to be a dope video and a dope topic uh, i'm talking about two things in this video uh first of all the product is a vault v730 made by pelican it's a rifle case you know you carry your guns or anything in there but mostly you know it's the rifle length or whatever and also uh traveling with with the vault case with my firearm with my rifle and my pistol and ammo in there on the airlines so this is pretty much it's going to be a two and one it's going to be a review and also a part two of a video that i did in the past about flying with a firearm i really suggest if you have a carry permit and you're traveling somewhere in that state's owners your state uh carry license i really think you guys should exercise your right and actually carry a firearm wherever you go whether it's just a pistol or a rifle too i suggest both if you can or you have it but if you if you limit it to just a pistol, carry it because it's it's no sense in going out of town and you can't protect yours. That's one of the main things you want to be able to at least protect yourself when you're out of town and not in your home state or whatnot because you don't know where you can go to for uh, for for safety or whatnot. Uh, I just suggest that. But you always want to make sure whatever state you're traveling to honors your uh, state's um, concealed carry. But before we get into it, I'm going to roll a clip of me at the airport checking it in and all that stuff. And then we'll come back and talk a little bit more. And I'll show some videos of how I got everything set up.
Is it a boarding pass? Yes. Hopefully y'all can see what was going on in that video at the airport. I forgot to get one at the first one I, when we departed from uh, uh, Birmingham. But um, anywho, uh, first thing you want to do, like I said, is uh, make sure the state that you're traveling to honors your state care license. Second, you go to the website of the airline that you're flying, uh, flying with and you make go over their guidelines and rules of, of carrying a firearm. I flew Southwest. They were pretty cool. I carried... I flew with my uh with the Dane Defense DD M4 V7. This is a full size rifle, uh 16 inch. Also tr uh, flew with the Glock 17 that I'm EDC in today. Um, so I had those in the case. I had um 150 rounds of nine mil, uh, and a hundred rounds of 223, and I also had a little under 50 rounds in my um carry ammo my defensive ammo so i left the defensive ammo in the mags so they come in but i just detached them from the gun and then uh all the other ammo you've seen in uh the video how i had it set up so as long as the ammo is not the mags are not in the gun they don't want a mag a loaded mag in the gun even if it's not one in the chamber so you don't want to do that just take no mags in the gun even if it's empty don't have a mag in the gun i suggest that just as that's just to eliminate any kind of uh you know, mis misunderstandings and confusions at an airline. So no mags in the gun, um, empty chamber. I took it up a step, uh, step above and I actually put a, a empty chamber indicator inside of the uh, the barrel of my rifle so they can just know that red tag, I mean, that yellow tag is in there. It's no, no round in the gun. So you do that, Southwest is, uh, you can, the maximum amount of ammo you can have is 11 pounds worth. So I don't think that was 11 pounds worth of ammo. It wasn't an issue. So everything is in there. They, she, you open it up, show them what's going on in the case. You close it back up. And Birmingham, they asked me after I closed it back up, after she checked everything out and fill out my little card, my information or whatnot, I put the locks on there and locked the locks down, but then attached the latches to it because they want to see if they can get in there without opening it up. So I would suggest not, you might, don't get any, any locks longer than this for as in height wise, because if it's, if it can go up a little bit more, someone can open up that safe. I mean, your, your case and grab what's ever in there, the, the firearm or ammo or whatever not is, it is. So I actually, uh, inside of my case, I had the firearms, my EDC light, my blade, a multi-tool, all that stuff. It, all the stuff that I would carry, I would EDC if I was at home. I took all that stuff with me and I always do that rhythm driving. And now, you know, that was my first time flying with a rifle but uh, I have flown before with a pistol. Like I said, this is a part two about flying with uh, a rifle or whatnot. So as long as you go through those steps, make sure, you know, like I said, don't have anything in the chamber, no ammo, no mags inside the gun at all, whether it's an empty mag or not. Uh, and just follow up with that airline and check and make sure everything is good for us and you traveling with what or whatnot. But other than that, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, if this video was helpful, man, just, you know, if you got some uh, some experience with some stuff, you know, you flew before, you had some some bad or some good experience with flying with a firearm, you can just leave it down in the comments, man. 
hit the like button, hit the share button, subscribe to the uh, channel. Also, if anybody was looking into purchasing a hoodie, I have uh, hoodies available from small to 1X. They are 40 bucks um, and they're 30 if you're local, if I don't have to ship it. Uh, like I said, they're 40 bucks. You can send me an email. I have that in the, uh, the description. You can send me an email if you like to purchase one. I also have t-shirts from small to 3X. So if you would like a t-shirt, they are 33, but if you're local, it's 25. Um, and that's pretty much it, man. Y'all like the video, just holler at me, uh, send, hit the like button, subscribe to it, share it with your friends or somebody you know that's probably gonna be flying in the future, man. I hope this video was helpful. Peace, Uncle Life. It's on you.